Good day, guys. Welcome to my page again. Um, I'll also be illustrating the number one practical, which is a practical on mechanics for our NICO 2022. So these were the apparatus NICO told us to get. Number one is two meter rows. Then number two, four masses of 50 gram each. Then number three, beaker. Number four, G clamp. Number five, a mass hanger of 50 gram. Number six, water. Number seven, plasticine. Number eight, retort stamp. So based on what they gave us, okay, I was able to draft out a likely question that we should want to consider. So this is this experimental setup for our practical. Here is a G clamp. Okay, one meter ring is attached to the G clamp family. Okay, then on the other end, there is a retort stand. Okay, which is kept firmly. Then we have a pointer that is placed here, indicating the, di the direction on the meter rule. Okay, then after that, we also have a thread that we hang our mass. In this case, our mass hanger of about 50 gram is going to be hung a distance of 10 centimeters away from the meter rule. Okay, then after hanging that on 10 centimeters, we are going to measure the distance from here to here. Distance from here to here, when the mass has not been hung, is going to be recorded. Okay, and that is what we we'll call our X naught. So when we now attach a mass of 50 gram, of course, you know, we, we are going to see that the meter is going to come down a little. So we are going to record the point at which the meter comes down and we are going to call it we are going to call it x a a meaning the distance when the mass is in air then also we are going to bring a beaker of water and we are going to place the mass inside the water and also record the point okay so of course we will still see another distance as what x w the weight in air the distance of the weight in air is going to be greater than the distance of the weight in water. Okay, so let's go to the experimental setup and see. Then hold the meter rule firmly with a G clamp. One of the meter is going to be hold firmly with a G clamp. Attach a pointer at the T. Okay, attach a pointer at this T. Set the pointer and the record to the value of what and record the value x0. We're going to record our x0. Attach a mass hanger of 50 gram at the point 10 cm of the meter rule and record XA. Okay, this 10 cm of the meter rule is going to be fixed throughout the world's experiment. Then also, five, okay, maintain the position of the mass throughout the experiment. Place the mass hanger inside the water beaker and record XW. Do for four other values of 100 grams, 150 grams, 200 grams, 250 grams. In each case, record the value for my x and my x w. Okay, record the value for my x a. That is the weight in air, the the distance in air and the distance in water. So after that, let's go and check how we are going to do this practically. Okay, this is the experimental setup. As you can see, I'm using a a clamp in form of my G clamp. I don't have a G clamp, so that's why I'm using this. And this is my water, okay, my rubber filled with water. And if you can see, this is my second meter rule, head firmly on a red sword stand. So we are going to first of all take the value of x0, which is the distance at which the pointer makes at the meter rule. So from my, from my figure here, from what I'm showing here, it is telling you that the pointer is at 71 cm mark. Okay, so our x0 is going to be 71. Okay, then I'm going to be attaching my mass hanger. Okay, at 10 cm mark from the ruler. So this is it. At 10 cm, let me remove the water first. At 10 cm, I'm going to measure the distance. Okay. Alright, so from there, you will see that our distance for the 50 gram hanger in air is equal to 
73, 72, okay, 72.1. Okay, let's take note of that. Then in water now, let's see what it's going to be. Okay, in water, it is seen to be at 72. Okay. Okay. So in water, we seem to be what? 72. So how am I going to get the difference? My value for my x is going to be the x in air, that's the distance in air, minus the distance in water. So let's go. The values that I got for the experiment. So make sure you take it carefully and make sure you take the readings carefully so that you don't have uh, mistakes along the line. So for 50 gram, my value for my x in air is given as 73. Then for my x in water is given as 72.10. So my x is going to be the difference between the x in air minus the x in water. Of course, we know that the distance for the air is going to be greater than that of the water. In that case, when I subtract this from this, I'm going to get 0 0.90. The same thing when I have 100 grams. 100 grams will give me 73.5 as the distance in air, then 73.20 as the distance in water. Then when I subtract, I'll get this. For 150 also, 74.80 and 74.20. When I subtract, I'll get 0 0.60. For 200 grams, I'm going to get 76.80, 76.00, and 0 0.80. Then for my 250 grams, I'm going to get 80.00 and 79.00. When I minus this, I'm going to get 1. So after doing this carefully, we are going to plot a graph of mass against x. Okay? Mass is on the vertical axis and x you know, is on the horizontal axis. Starting both axes at the origin. So make sure you pick a scale that is going to be convenient in plotting this 